Right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Blitz Part 2. Obviously, the Blitz Part 2 is recommended after using the Blitz, uh, the Blitz Part 1. So, what you're going to do is get some deionized water. We've got some just some regular deionized water here. And you need. 975 milliliters which is between there that there so, like I say it's just regular deionized water I actually bought this from a supermarket it's uh, designed to be used in car batteries but it's the same thing so you probably can get it from like local motor factors I think it's like one pound fifty from a local supermarket here for two litres, so well two and a half litre. Once you've got your deionized water, obviously goggles and gloves, because after all it is a detergent. Goggles up, after all you don't want it splashing into your eyes. Now you want about 25, 25 milliliters, which is there. Just pour that in. This will make up to four liters of uh, Blitz Part Two. Obviously, it's good practice to uh, clean out your loop every every couple of months. Give that a quick stir. Make sure then pop the blitz part two in. And there you go. That's it done. You can say that's uh full that's a litre of uh, the blitz part two. And now the next part of the video I'm gonna show you how to uh put this in the loop and what to do how to flush it to get the best out of the product so yeah I'll see you in the next part of the video I'm just going to show you the uh, drain part obviously it makes it a whole lot easier if you've got a drain part doing this looking here amongst the rats nest of wires I've got a Y splitter there the tap normally that's there where that fitting is is capped off with this but I've got that off and I've got a pipe on there which runs down here into a bucket now I've got the uh, reservoir open on the other end obviously because as something comes out something else has got to go in so all you do now open it up And there you go it's as easy as that obviously it does help what I'm going to do now is put another pipe on there put that back on the rays and blow into that because that blows all what's left over the radiators back into there and a good practice is to rinse out the um, rinse it out with deionized water just to get rid of all the coolant before you put the uh, before you put the but it's part two in. So yeah, I'll be back once I've uh, rinsed it out and uh, and I'm ready for the blitz. Right, here we are now, ready to add the um, blitz part two. I've put two liters of uh, deionized water through to rinse, just to rinse off the rest of the coolant that we're in there. Now, I'm filling it up. Obviously, this is detergent, so it will might create a bit of foam. But if it does. It's nothing major to uh, worry about. Now, obviously, I haven't um, got my system unplugged for this because there's a way to get this to work better, and I'll uh, tell you soon. But for now, you need to bleed it of all the air. See what I mean by about the forming. Ok, 
go. Okay, so remove that. Now what you want to do now is put the lid on. Best way to uh, get the aerating system, lean it back like that. Lean it forward. Near the air already coming through. Tilt it forward. Like that, and do it back. Like that. Okay, so just keep on doing that, and obviously, all the air will be out of the system. So, yeah, what you want to do is you want to leave that in your loop for about 12 hours. You don't want to leave it in more than 24 hours. Obviously, the loop's got to be running. And the reason why I haven't got the ATX bridge plug in is because. The best way to bleed to uh, for this uh, Blitz Part 2 to work is to use your computer as you normally would. Play some games, surf the net, watch YouTube videos, Netflix, anything for a couple of 12 hours. It needs to be on for about over 12 hours for it to work properly. And obviously the CPU will heat up, obviously detergents work better when it's warm. Number one. So, yeah. I'll uh, be back in 12 hours. Well, here we are, 12 hours later. I've uh, turned off the computer, moved it over a bit. So what I'm going to do now is open my drain plug, open my tap, take the lid off the reservoir. See all the foaminess in the pipes there. And what I'm going to do now is it's going to grab my bridge plug. It's just a little. If you're into water cooling, you should have one of these. It makes life so much easier. When, especially when we're doing this, because I don't plan on using the computer now whilst this is uh, whilst I'm doing this part of the uh, cycle. There we go. Pop. Oh. Power supply unit on there. Could end in disaster. Though. Don't be doing that. Right, that's a bridge plug on. <clears throat> Next thing. Is just, just fill it up with deionized water. You can use tap water for this if you want, as long as the final flush it's used with DIY water, deionized water. But I'm just using deionized water because I've got plenty of And we're gonna never let your pump run obviously run dry because you can kill it. Obviously it's quite a big loop is this, so it takes a bit of filling. Should be alright now. Obviously you can still see 
there's still quite a bit of detergent left in there and that should be alright that water level in there Now you want to leave that running for an hour, like that, just like that, so leave it running for an hour and come back, repeat this process three times. I know it's a bit of a pain but it's the best way to rinse out, obviously you can use tap water for the first two, you're best using deionized water or ideally like the Mayhem's X1 because it's got the biocides in it and it's obviously all extra pure water obviously you don't have to use the Mayhem's one, it can be any any brand as long as it's got like inhibitors and biocides in it for your final for your final flush so yeah I'm going to leave that running now and I'll be back once I'm about to do my final flush well here we are as you can see it's nice and clear now which means it's pretty much done, it's not foaming up anymore, there's no frothing it out like that. So what I'm going to do now is, obviously this is the third time I've drained it now, my bucket's getting quite full. So go ahead and drain it again. Now what I've got here, is the Mayhem's X1 clear coolant? It's um, the clear coolant, it's got all the inhibitors in it that you need for your loop. I'm gonna put this in now because I'm done. This is me filling up my. Obviously, if you're using the Mayhem's X1, the chances are you can get the dyes to um, dye your own dye your own colour. That's what I'm going to do now. Once I've bled this up. All that white stuff, it looks a bit white, but that's just the air bubbles that's in the, uh, in the loop. Actually, there seems to be a bit of foam on the top of that. That probably could do with, with uh, flushing through again, if I'm honest. This is why you should always check these things. That you can see a bit of foam that's on top of the uh, top of the res. Hmm. Probably best just to flush it one more time. If I've done it three times, but I'll show you. Quite sure what that is, but I'll drain it again and uh, sort that out. That should sort that problem out if I drain it again. So yeah, I'll be back uh, back in a minute. Well, here we are, finally uh, bled up. As you can see, that foam is no longer on the top of my reservoir, which is a good thing. Which means I've got all the uh, Part two, I had to flush it an, an extra time. It's always best just to make sure. What I'm going to do now is my X1. So it's going to top up my radiator, my reservoir here.
obviously you don't have to use the mayhem stuff you can put any coolant you desire in now once you've done your last drain and uh, the good stuff about using the X1 is you can just pop your clothes and dye there purple pop it straight into your res that's it done There we go, that's that done. So yeah, it's always good to just try and clean out your radiators at least once a year. I know most of us won't have the loops in there that long because that's just how we are. So, until next time, if you've got any uh, questions, any comments, we're always welcoming the box below. And. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, hit subscribe. Thank you.